this is my tractor. Spending a lot of time on this. This is the tractor that was in the yard for Bill's um, woods. And I just decided to fix it up for free. It's got some minor issues. You can see I did a paint job. Original color of it. To the final color. It's not a completely finished paint job, but I ran out of paint. So I did a red and a green petal. Just kind of cool. Red. And I got the battery. The engine was seized. I got it unseized. Starter was seized. I got that undone. The throttle was stuck. And I got that. Transmission works. All that works. The steering was seized. And now I got that to work. The steering itself skips gears. Let me demonstrate. It skips gears. You can see in here, it skips gears, so I need a new steering, which is deeply down in there, which I'm not going to get into. So, uh, the way to start this thing, is I'm going to put this one as a temporary seat. And then I'm going to get one. Okay. Okay, I'm going to make sure our parking brake is on, but I'm keeping it off. I like it. Um, not completely finished, but I got most of it wired up. I'm going to make sure your shifter is in neutral. Again, there is neutral. Up here is reverse. Really weird. Neutral, obviously. You have this gear over here. It goes forward. And then you have here, forward, I think it's a 5 speed, forward, forward, it's 3, 4, you actually have another gear over here, you have a gear there, and you have another one over there I can't get to now, but you want to make sure that when you start it, it's in neutral, right there. And then what you want to do, is you want to put your foot in the clutch, I don't want to do that way, you make sure you raise your deck up. Bring the throttle up. I don't have this governed, so you want to control the RPM. So I'm going to set it to about maybe half throttle and then adjust it from there. And then set your ignition to on. And I found this key by the way, did not come with it. Lucky, uh, lucky guess because it does work. And then what we're going to do is we're not going to press this green pedal, we're, we will not press the green pedal. I will not press it. Battery. I'm going to juice stop. I'm getting the curb ready. And we're going to get ready to fire up. So I have a clutch on. Actually, I'm going to press the clutch brake. So now we'll set our throttle about half. And we'll fire it up. So, let's clear view. There you go, so it's off, on, start. See, she's a little picky, but that's because I don't have a carburetor on it yet. No carb. Uh, it's over there. Somewhere over there. I'm trying to get it to work. Um, but you can see in here that the engine cranks over, which is pretty good. And I'm going to try to show you back here. In the back of here is the ignition. I broke that. I soldered it. Excuse me, that noise. It's raining outside. This battery is about, I don't know, what's the sticker on it? Where's the sticker? There's a sticker on this battery. I don't know where it is. 
But the sticker says the year. Oh, there it is on the top. I'm a dummy. Five twelve. So now it's five sixteen. So twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This battery is four years old. It's still pretty good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this battery. I just had it on my boat. Decided not to use it anymore. Uh, but the ignition works, and this is the key for it. I was just a lucky guess on the internet. I just thought, hmm, looks like the right one. Purchased it, tried it, and it was seized in there. But it, it, it works. It works. For what I'm using it for. Anyways, here it is. Got some light in here. On. I'm gonna put a little battery gauge right here so you can tell your uh, battery voltage is gonna be right here, right in that hole. So that way, when you put it, the key is off. When you put it into the on position, it'll automatically show your battery voltage. I'm gonna put another push button like right around here for a horn. And I'm gonna and then I'll finish it to the start and it'll start. Or it won't start, but it'll crank it over. But I don't have the kill wire on it yet, but there's a brand new coil in here. And then I'll paint it up. It's nice. And I'm done for the night. Alright, I'm happy with that. I got a lot accomplished. I'll show you the carburetor. Alright, so we'll put the throttle down. We'll put our light back. I'll go over here to the carburetor or the carpentrator. I've been listening to a lot of. Carol, this is all videos. So this is the manifold, the oopsie. It was too big, it's not the right one. You can see I drilled small holes in it. That's what I need, and then there's two large holes, it's too big. For what I need, I already put a screw in there. That's too big, I put a screw in there. This was the original, I just cut it off with the sawzall. This is the original carburetor. Carpentrator. This is the brand new one. I even put on new fuel line. Brand, brand new carburetor. You can see it in my hand. The size comparison. Everything works. Choke and throttle. Everything works. And the carburetor. I'm get my flashlight. I don't know what I did with it. Uh, uh, uh. Ugh, that's my flashlight. I'm working my tail off on this thing. Oh, where's my flashlight? Why can't I find a flashlight? Oh well, well, I'll just get this lantern. Alright, so the carburetor goes into the top hole right there. And as you can see, the manifold that I have is obviously way, 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 way too big to fit right in that hole for the screws to line up. You can see the intake manifold is just way, way too big to fit in that hole. You can tell. If I just set it over it and see it just it goes right over to the exhaust and it don't sit right, so I gotta drill out new holes. Cut that off with the sawzall. Instead of taking this carburetor back, as personally, I don't want to do that. It'll take too much time. Gotta get a return sticker. It'll take another week to get another one. When really, I can just modify it and it should work. This is the governor assembly here. 
and the throttle and chode, and then the governor rod is stuck in there, I need to pull that out, if I can, uh, I may not need to, because it's covered with wool, I may not need to, but I'll see what I can do to it, anyways, oh, that looks good, I painted it a little bit, that looks good, Yeah. I'll paint all in there. There's the gas tank. It was missing a gas cap, so this thing was full of water. But I found this gas cap. It's a nice little gas cap. Take a look in that tank. There's nothing in there. It's probably just a little bit of water in there. Never did empty that out. Just a little bit of water in there. So, that's that. Alright, I'm just going to end it off right here, and do some more work on it. I cannot wait to work on this, still. I painted the nice, nice tire in the back end, especially getting it on the seat. Nice little boat seat, so it's nice and comfortable. The blades spin on it, so that's nice. Everything's functional, so I just can't wait to use it. Alright, see you later. Bye-bye.